I have taken my best pictures during sunrise, but this time of day can be a little bit tricky for photography. So in this video, I want to give you my advice how you can improve your sunrise photography. My name is Nico, aka Trunico, and this channel is all about video and photography. So if you're interested in this, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and stick till the end of this video because I will provide you a free cheat sheet for your next sunrise photography mission. Let's start off with the first tip and this is to plan your shoot, plan your sunrise photography shoot and know where the sun is rising. This sounds very irrelevant, but when I started photography, I just went out to take some pictures in the morning and I was disappointed because yeah, the sun didn't rise at the exact position I thought it would be the best and maybe it was behind the buildings or yeah, didn't rise at all at the spot where I was at. So this was very uh, yeah discouraging, but then I found uh, a website which is called Sun Calculator, and this is a very useful website. It's free where you can see at exact location, exact time where the sun is rising, and you can follow the path of the sun. And with this knowledge, it's super easy because then you can see specific dates during the year where is the sun, and then you can go out during those days and you have yeah the exact position and you're not uh, surprised because uh, the sun is a different spot. There's also an app called Sun Surveyor. This app is a paid app, so it costs a one-time payment of a few euros, but it's also very useful if you're gonna use, uh, yeah, if you're gonna plan your shoots uh, on the phone. And last but not least, when you're going out uh, for sunrise, I can recommend to prep your camera, uh, get all your gear in the evening before, because then you're not uh, yeah, uh, using the time in the morning, you can sleep a little bit longer, the few minutes can make quite a difference in the morning and then you don't forget anything when you arrive at location. So I think I've prepared everything uh, I need for tomorrow. I will yeah, go to bed now, set my alarm and then I'll see you in the morning. It's the next morning, around 20 minutes before sunrise, and I have just arrived at this beautiful location here. And uh, second tip I want to give you, arrive early and stay late. I think this helped me a lot in uh, my recent sunrise shoots, because when you arrive early, you can already scope out the location, see are there any distractions, you can plan some compositions, and makes the morning less stressful than it would be arriving at the last minute before sunrise. And by staying late, I mean, uh, don't just wait for the sunrise to happen and then leave the location. Maybe stay even an hour after the sunrise has happened because uh, I discovered that I got my best shots always an hour after sunrise. The light is still very beautiful, it's very soft, it has a nice glow, but it's a little bit different than the first sunrise when it appears. So yeah, this is the tip I can give you when arriving at your location. And now let's get the camera out and let's start shooting some pictures. You can see the sun behind me is slowly rising and I think it's time for the next tip and this is to always move around when you're photographing the sun. The sun is rising so the sun is moving which uh, means that you're not always going to get the sun right at the spot you're standing so it can be very tempting to always you know set up a tripod and wait for the sun to rise but I can recommend to just move around and maybe a few meters back you will get the sun uh, yeah, with a full power and not in the shadow and because we're standing a little bit lower now I will also move the locations and go up to this point because yeah the sun is still behind the buildings even though it's past sunrise time and we'll go to the spot up the hill and see if we can get a better shot from up there We're just a few meters up now and you'll see we have a much better view now and the sun is yeah peaking right behind the castle here so I think it was worth it to walk those few stairs uh, up the hill here. Let's take some pictures and then we'll continue with tip number four. It's actually quite hard to film a video and take photos at the same time 
So a lot of the pictures I will show you now are from the last time also at this location. But let's continue with tip number four. And this is exposing the sun. And this part is actually pretty tricky. I found out over the past few years. So let's talk about some methods you can, yeah, get this part done easier. And the method number one, I think the one I use all the time is overexposing an image. By overexposing an image, uh, you have the sun at its full power and you see the sunrise uh, and it's very strong and you get, yeah, the sense that the sun is very powerful. And I like this method a lot because it gives the photos a very, yeah, specific look and I like this effect. So try overexposing next time you're shooting, uh, yeah, against the sun. But if you're not a fan of overexposing, you can also try underexposing. This is very helpful when you're, for example, have people, maybe you're walking over a bridge and by unexposing you get a very beautiful silhouette but you still get the sense that there's the sun and because of the sun you're underexposing and yeah also a very cool look and the last method you can try out is also bracketing on the camera by bracketing you take multiple shots for example three pictures a different level of expo exposures and then you put them together in your editing software and then you have a very well exposed image this can be also a very cool look and uh, helpful when you have here yeah, this strong sun. I think I'm done here at this location now. I'm gonna go home, get some breakfast, and then we'll talk about the last tip, uh, about the last tip in a very cozy environment because yeah, it's a little bit cold actually. I'm back from the outside, already warmed up a little bit. And I wanted to talk about the last tip of this video, and this is to get used to taking sunrise pictures. This can be quite challenging, you know, we have to wake up very early to catch the sunrise. And especially when you're doing this on the weekends after your job and you want to sleep <laughs> during the weekend till 10, till 12, it can be quite a challenge. So I can recommend you to start off with sunrise photography during the seasons of fall, winter or spring because during those times the sun is rising, uh, is rising much more later than in the summer. And because of uh, this, you can yeah, build this habit of waking up, taking pictures, and it's not so hard when you're doing this later on in the summer, for example. And it can be also beneficial to have some friends with you and you can all commit to waking up very early and going out to take some pictures. This is also, I think, one of the best advices because you're not by yourself is safer and you obviously have some uh, yeah, motivation to go out. And last but not least, it's also important to don't get uh, yeah disencouraged by some bad weather or if the sun is not showing up, the weather forecast is not always reliable and it can be super disappointed if you wake up super early, drive to a location and then there's no sun. So always try to yeah make the best out of this situation. Maybe try it out different photography still a uh, still you wanted to um, photography style you wanted to try out at a location when there's no sun and try to treat yourself afterwards get some nice breakfast get a coffee afterwards and enjoy the process of taking pictures uh, yeah it's a big accomplishment if you're waking up so early to take photos and i think this is also the end of the video i also promised you a, a nice gift or a free gift at the end so check out the description down below there's a download link to a cheat sheet about sinus photography, which summarizes all the tips from this video. You can download it and take with you on the next photography mission. Here you can check out another video I did from a sunrise photography. Uh, yeah, it's a vlog POV style of video with a vintage camera. So you can uh, uh, go along my process of taking pictures. And here you can check out the latest video I have uploaded. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.